Okay, full disclosure, this is a World of Warcraft uh, housewife confessional. <laughs> Who would have thought that would be like the um, thing to say, seriously. <laughs> like those things would ever go together. Okay, so, um, headed to Kaiser to pick up a prescription. Yay. So much fun. Okay, so I am not playing Guild Wars. I am not playing The Secret World. I'm not playing, uh, what should we call it? What's it called? Uh, it's called Terra. I'm not playing either of those. I am playing World of Warcraft. Like, I thought I was done. I thought, at least until Miss of Pandaria actually like comes out, the expansion at the end of September, I really thought I was done, diddly, done, done, done. Um, every time I have logged in in the past year, I've logged in twice, I sort of checked um, when I was moving some characters around when I last logged in and whatnot. Sorry, I don't know why this is being a bitch. Um, so, um, it's wobbly. Hold on. Okay, so hopefully that'll be better. Yes. Okay, so, every time I've logged on, the two times I've logged on, I've thought, oh, maybe I'll give it a go, because I miss it. You know, I miss doing dailies. I miss, um, the rest of my family, or my husband, um, and a lot of, like, just about everyone on my Steam friends list, well, not quite everyone, but tons of them, play Civ 5, and they play it, like, on a daily sort of basis, and, and sort of have little tasks that they can do, and, and I miss, like, doing dailies in World of Warcraft, like, just doing my fishing daily, or my cooking daily, just something I can do in the morning when I'm sort of waking up with my cup of coffee, or whatever. So every time I've logged in, I've just sat there staring at my multitude of, um, alts and I've been looking like at the character login screens switching realms just like oh my god paralyzed by looking at my characters and then I log out and then I don't play so I bought I pre-ordered the Mr. Pandaria because I figured I will want to see the content I want at least level to 90 I mean Blizzard makes great contents that way, you know, just the leveling, even though Cataclysm wasn't, wasn't that brilliant. Um, they do, you know, make nice, nice scenery and whatever. So I pre-ordered Mr. Pandaria. So a few weeks back, I was really frustrated with the secret world and Guild Wars 2 wasn't out yet. And, um, I felt like playing an MMO and, um, I thought, well, what I'll do, because um, because I knew that I just get paralyzed when I looked at all my characters. So I figured what I'd do was I would just, um, clean up my characters. Only keep, like, ones I really, really wanted. Um, just get rid of all those alts I made when I was, um, you know, trying to still play regularly. And, um, cl clean them back up on into servers, the same servers, and... Um, whatnot, and and it was just I said, well, I'll just I'll just do this, and then I I started, and then I logged in, and I started thinking, oh, could I delete this character because this was before the patch on last Tuesday, and I didn't want to um, lose any pets that I had on characters, so I ended up spending like a whole Saturday making a spreadsheet with like all my current pets and mounts, and figuring out what characters I could delete, which was I couldn't delete, and consolidate, and making, figuring out who could move to where, to get, sort of get my horde and alliance on the same servers, and whatnot, and, um, I ended up, <laughs> so, yeah, so I, I did, like, major house cleaning, I made a big spreadsheet, and blah, 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 and then I'm sitting there, and I'm looking at Snazzy the next day, Snazzy's my little gnome mage, um, I love her. <laughs> I always have. And I thought, 
you know, maybe I could just try to level her to 85 before Mr. Pandaria um, comes out. And I logged in and I has had so much fun. Oh my god, I was having so much fun playing her. So um, then Guild Wars 2 came out uh, the following weekend and I, <laughs> I um, made a few characters, like three actually, just to get my names out there. Did like opening sequence of one of them I thought, hmm, I really would like to level Snazzy to 85 before Miss Pandaria came out. And I haven't touched Guild Wars 2 since. I haven't touched it. Um, <laughs> I've, every moment that I've had available to play, which hasn't been a lot um, since I'm now a student, um, but last weekend I did play WoW instead of Guild Wars 2, and I'm looking forward to playing World of Warcraft again this weekend instead of Guild Wars 2. So, um, if you're wondering why I'm not playing The Secret World anymore, I recommend that you go watch Sauced, the podcast, S4UC3D, S4UC3D Sauced. Um, the Sauce podcast, either listen or watch, they, it's a download of it, it's on Stitcher and all sorts of stuff. Um, um, when I was a guest, I think it was episode 26, but I could be a little bit wrong about the episode number. It's like 26, 27, around about there. Um, <laughs> so, because I go on at rather great lengths about um, why I was frustrated with the Secret World. Um, which makes me sad because it's such a polished game. Anyway, um, and I am playing World of Warcraft. I am, however... Um, terrified of the new changes that came in with the last patch. Um, I, I, the only thing I've done is log in all my characters to make sure I got pets before I deleted the ones that were scheduled for deletion to be in the big cleanup process and whatever. So I'm back playing World of Warcraft. I figure by the time, I figure eventually I'll probably like, um, get totally sick of it again. Um, but and, and then I'll have Guild Wars 2 available, and I won't be paying a subscription fee for it and feeling guilty that I wasn't playing for so long. So, the other thing that happened was um, I needed to send my son a scroll of resurrection so I could invite myself to my own guild because I don't have multiple accounts. I just have the one account. I, I, to get, I, I keep my own guild for all my alts, you know, to get the, the guild bank and all that stuff. Um, but I can't, and when I was moving characters, I can't, you know, invite myself to my own guild because the player has to be on, so it's kind of a pain. So I had to send my son a scroll of resurrection because my husband, is whose account I normally use, um, he had some account security issue a few weeks ago, and uh, because he's not playing, and he's not playing Diablo 3, and he's not playing StarCraft at the moment, he just hasn't done anything about fixing it, which really irritates me. Um, I want him to get around to fixing whatever the issue is, um, so I can at least use his account to invite people. But, um, but so I couldn't use his account. Um, and, uh, so I said, my son is Scroll of Resurrection, and, um, I said, uh, I'm going to pay for a month of WAF for you so I can invite you, have you as an officer and you can invite me to my guild. <laughs> Sounds weird. And so my oldest son then goes, oh wow, that means he can send me a scroll of resurrection. I was like, you want to play again? He's like, yeah. I mean, for two weeks anyway, then I'll pay if I'm still playing. So what this has resulted in is three actually paid subscriptions reactivated um, in my family because um, um, the oldest paid for his month as well as I paid for the month for the youngest and they're all playing so I wonder how many people that's happened to I don't know um, but there you go so um, I, I, my husband's sort of playing Guild Wars 2 he keeps grumbling about it but um, I, that's what he is supposedly playing I don't know so this weekend, I'm looking forward to doing uh, some mage leveling. I don't understand the new spell system. I'm sure there's nothing to understand. I'm sure it's like it's perfectly self-explanatory once I actually sit down there with um, the system and, and figure it out. 
write my new uh, map, map macro, which because I like having a separate like um, random map macro, but I, it, I've just realized it's going to be like massively long. But uh, oh well. <laughs> so uh, at least it'll be the same macro for everybody. So yeah, that's um that's sort of what I've been up to, um, gaming wise. Um, I've kind of decided that I can't play Deus Ex because it has no female option. I just can't. I don't like feeling like I'm controlling a puppet. I like feeling like it's me out there playing. So, yeah, um, that's where things stand. Uh, I'm back in WoW. Um, there you go. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a great uh, week, slash, and we'll have a good, great weekend. Have fun whatever game you're playing, and um, I'll talk. Thank you so much for watching. I do have a favorites beauty video coming up, beauty slash skincare video coming up um, next week. Um, so, um, you can look forward to that <laughs> if that's your thing and I will talk to you soon. Bye.